Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Adam's Fishing. And today I'm joined by my two girls, Erin and Pippa, over there. This one's Erin, that one's Pippa. Say hi, girls. Hi. Good girls. Um, they have agreed to come out fishing with me on a Sunday. The mum's at work, and uh, they've agreed to come down for a couple of hours. So I'm down one of my club water lakes that I haven't actually fished before. It's called um, Willow, and um, it's a lovely looking little lake, actually. I can't believe I haven't fished it already. So um, I'm going to set some gear up and uh, see if we can catch a carp. I know there's some in here, nothing massive, um, but uh, a bit of good sport, I'm told. So uh, let's give it a crack. That's just one proper part. I've got a plate in here if you, if you think you need it later on. Some bait, some bread. Some drinks here, girls. So Alright guys, nothing revolutionary in terms of tactics. We've already seen um, a carp, or in fact two carp, just cruising beneath the surface. It's quite a hot day, lots of sunshine, so um, I'm not sure that fishing traditional carp tactics is necessarily the way to go. But that's what I've prepared for, so that's what we've got. So I've, I've got some boilies um, in a bucket, not a lot, um, we're only here for a couple of hours. Um, and I've got my uh, good old trusty snowman rigs. I say good old trusty snowman rigs, but actually I had a bit of a had a bit of a moment whilst tying these up and uh, I messed my measurements up a bit so rather than being an eight inch um, hook length uh, sorry hook link length which is what I normally have this one's only five inches but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to work um, it's a barbless hook rule here so I've got a, a size eight barbless fang x hook on there one of these little micro um, anti-tangle sleeves here because the rig is so short and uh, I've got a long enough hair to accommodate you guessed it my classic snowman rig with a uh, 15 mil bottom bait tipped with a 10 mil pop up which seems to balance just about right so um, <clears throat> I'm going to make a few of these up um, in the hope that I get some action and uh, 
uh, and give them a bit of a glug before they go out into the lake. But uh, let's get some baits attached and, uh, and then form a plan. So bottom bait on first, that's that for the hair. Tip that off with one of these dinky little pop-ups. Attach that to the hair. The last thing I'll do with that is add a hair stop, but for now, that's the rig. As I say, make a few of those up and then I'm ready for action. Alright, well just to put you in the picture, the plan of action is um, I've got a bait just off the edge of this island out here. I threw some boilies out before, um, before I started fishing, or before I put a bait there. And uh, seeing the odd tiny hint that there might be fish in the area, I don't know that they're necessarily part, but um, I'm hopeful for a bite. I'm just fishing one rod today on a single bank stick with a bite alarm. Um, because I wanted to travel really light because um, I didn't want all, all the gear in tow for a short session with the girls and uh, our plan, our aim for this session is to catch one fish each so um, let's hope that we can manage it like I said, we're going to give it a couple of hours at the most and then um, they might have convinced me to take them to McDonald's afterwards as a treat but we'll see <laughs>
All right, guys. Well, we're not having much luck on the carp front. In fact, it's been very quiet. I haven't, got, haven't seen any bites at all. Um, I've just had a recast and put some fresh bait over the top. No catapult, so I've had to throw it. <laughs> Kills my arm. Um, getting old. Um, but at least we've got some bait out there. And we've got a baited rig in the water, so there's a chance of a bite. And we're going to call that one our sleeper rod for now. Why are we calling it that? Because we're now set up on a float rod. Let's just grab that rod, girl. Thank you. Now set up on my lightweight flight float rod um, outfit. It's an 11 foot um, float fishing rod onto which I've got a size, I believe it's a size 12, maybe a 14 um, barbless hook. Um, I've got a BB shot about six inches from the hook and then maybe three or four feet up I've got a waggler float attached. Um, with a BB shot either side just to stop it from slipping up and down the line. And I've got um, one other uh, very small shot just to balance it out properly so that I get just the right amount of float poking above the water. Um, I've travelled so light I haven't got a plummet with me so I haven't actually been able to plumb the depth properly. Um, I've got an idea of how deep it is and that's what I've gone with. Uh, I've got a few slices of bread, not a lot, but we're going to mush some up, chuck it in and then with a little bit of bread flake on the hook end um, we're going to see if we can uh, if we can catch something um, and salvage the session the best I can do for flake fishing ground bait Seriously mushed up bread. It's worked for us in the past, Sam, hasn't it? Has it? Yeah. It's tough though. Yeah. 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 All right, time to put the plan into action. Some mushed up breads out there, just a rod length and a half out. Most of it's sunk, a few bits are still floating. And uh, just gonna swing out a, a tiny piece of bread flake on the hook on the float rod and see if we can't catch something. Selfishly, I'm gonna try and catch the first one. And then, uh, and then I'll give the girls a shot.
around the sound drum, which is held on two cameras. You don't have to lift it, you just hold it right there. Good girl. Yes, first blood. Nice little mirror carp. Let's get him out to show you. Oh, that's nice. Lovely one. Erin, if you can pull that net out of the way. Erin, you can pull Thank you. Okay, then come back to me. You can put it down now. Hey, we did it, guys. This lovely little mirror carp is our reward for the hard work. What do you think? Come and have a look at this, then. Can you hold the fin up for me, Pip? I oh, know, near the top end. Near the, near, the, top near the middle. No, no, top end. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute magic. I made up with that fish. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Probably only one and a half to two pounds at best. It's, it's something. We caught one. Take a quick photo, and then we'll put her back. Goodbye. Goodbye, beauty. I'm a little beauty. There's Goodbye. a hook in it. Okay. It's not a hook in it. Oh, here it is. Go! Is it alive? Woo! Woo! Well done. Yes. Well done. Woo! Let's try and get another one. Yes, Harry. Yes. Reel forward and lift up. Lift up the top of the rod. Tip of the rod up. Tip of the rod up. Lift the rod up. Okay, I'm coming. Well, unfortunately, whilst uh, me and Pip were float fishing, um, it was Erin's turn on the carp rod. And uh, she did a good job connecting to the fish when we had a take, um, but she just couldn't lift the tip of the rod up um, quick enough and the fish got its head into the snags off of the edge of the island and um, unfortunately it came off. You know fish are adept at doing that aren't they? They get their head into something and they can shed a hook as easy as anything. It always amazes me but that's what happened. Um, it, it got in there, it shed the hook and we retrieved the whole rig and everything was everything's back but uh, alas no fish for poor Erin so um, Pip's had a little go at catching one on the float and we're having no luck there and now um, Erin's just having a go on the float just to see if she can settle the score and at least land something. But uh, we'll persevere and see if we can't put another fish on the bank for one of the girls at least. Right, guys what about that as a way to end our session four or five pounds of beautiful common carp in pristine condition i'm going to call this one one erin's fish i think this is probably the one that got away who came back for another go and this time we were lucky enough to land her erin wasn't on the rod at the time she was with the float rod but um i managed to manage to get this fish to the bank and away from the snags and it was worth all the effort absolutely made up with this one and uh, I promised I would so I'm just going to give a quick shout out to my nephew Dominic who I know watches so Dominic this one's for you buddy well done girls girls well done all right let's say cheerio then we'll call this goodbye we'll slip this fella back and we're going to get on the road maybe stop at McDonald's <laughs> all right if you've watched thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon with more carp like this one cheers Adios. Say goodbye to this little beauty. Bye bye. Bye bye. Full of lies. Bye. Dad, you're gonna.
You did it. Good job, girls. Good job. So, it's Big Mac's all round. What do you think, girls? Good stuff. <laughs>